If you've stepped outside in Europe lately, you've felt it. The sharp, biting cold that seems to cut right through your layers of clothing. It's a cold that feels more like the depths of winter than the tail end of autumn. This chill is more reminiscent of January than November, catching many off guard. A proper Arctic chill has swept in weeks early, blanketing cities in snow and painting windows with frost. Streets that were bustling with autumn activities just days ago are now eerily quiet, as people huddle indoors to escape the cold. This isn't just a dip in temperature, it's a polar plunge, with some places seeing temperatures 10 to 20 degrees Celsius below normal. The sudden drop has left many scrambling to adjust, pulling out winter gear that they thought they wouldn't need for another month. From Norway's fjords to Paris's streets, people are scrambling for their thickest coats. The unexpected cold snap has everyone talking, sharing tips on how to stay warm and speculating about what this early winter might mean for the months ahead. The suddenness is striking, one week, autumn leaves, the next, icy sidewalks and visible breath. It's as if winter has ambushed autumn leaving little time for transition. In the UK there's talk of another beast from the east, a term that brings back memories of past severe winters and the chaos they caused. Meanwhile the Alps are celebrating early snow, with ski resorts opening ahead of schedule and winter sports enthusiasts rejoicing, but even as the mountains enjoy the early snowfall, valleys are struggling with treacherous roads, making travel hazardous and prompting warnings from local authorities. What's behind this sudden freeze? Meteorologists are eyeing the polar vortex, a powerful force high in the atmosphere that's steering this icy blast our way. This swirling mass of cold air usually stays near the poles, but occasionally it dips south, bringing Arctic conditions with it. In the next sections we'll break down what's happening, where it's hitting hardest, and what it means for the winter ahead. Stay tuned as we explore the impacts of this early Arctic invasion and what you can expect in the coming weeks. Let's demystify the polar vortex, a term you've probably heard tossed around during extreme winter weather, but what does it actually mean, why does it matter, and how can it affect places thousands of kilometers away from the Arctic? Picture a giant spinning top of frigid air, swirling high above the North Pole. This mass of cold, dense air is trapped in place by a powerful, fast-moving river of air called the polar jet stream, which acts like a barrier, keeping the cold locked in the Arctic. Most of the time, this lasso is strong and stable, keeping the icy air contained, but sometimes, the jet stream weakens or becomes wavy, often after a dramatic event called sudden stratospheric warming, or SSW, which can shake up the entire system. When the stratosphere above the pole heats up rapidly, it disrupts the polar vortex, causing it to wobble or even split apart. This breakdown allows huge pockets of Arctic air to escape and surge southward, far beyond their usual boundaries. That's exactly what's happening now. A major SSW has thrown the vortex off balance, sending a lobe of Siberian-level cold straight into Europe. This isn't just a minor chill, it's a dramatic shift that can bring record-breaking cold and snow to regions unprepared for such extremes. It's important to note that the world as a whole isn't getting colder. Instead, the cold air has simply shifted locations, leaving some areas unusually mild, while others, like Europe right now, are plunged into deep freeze. It's a matter of atmospheric luck, or bad luck, depending on where you live. This early season breakdown of the polar vortex is rare, and could set the stage for a prolonged cold spell, with impacts on everything from energy demand to transportation and daily life. So, when you hear the phrase, polar vortex disruption, think of it as a dramatic prison break for Arctic air an escape that can have real consequences for millions of people. And right now, Europe is directly in the escape path, bracing for a winter that's arrived far earlier and fiercer than anyone expected. This isn't a gentle chill, it's a full-scale Arctic invasion, a surge of frigid air barreling down from the polar north and sweeping across the entire European continent. The cold is raw, biting, and relentless, carried on fierce winds that show no mercy to the landscapes or the people below. And it's hitting every corner of Europe differently with each region experiencing its own unique battle against the elements. From the northernmost reaches to the southern slopes, the effects are dramatic and far-reaching. Scandinavia and the Baltics felt it first, as the Arctic blast plunged Sweden and Finland into a deep freeze. Temperatures dropped to lows of minus 15 to minus 20 Celsius, 
extreme even for these winter-hardened nations. In cities like Stockholm and Helsinki, daily life slowed as residents bundled up in layers, bracing themselves against the icy wind that cut through the streets. The cold swept rapidly south and west, racing across the continent and bringing France and Switzerland their harshest November freeze in over a decade. Paris and Geneva, cities more accustomed to milder autumns, found themselves blanketed in snow and ice, with traffic grinding to a halt, and daily routines upended. In the Swiss Alpine valleys, the scene turned almost surreal. Brutal lows gripped the region, and up to 30 centimeters of early snow fell, transforming mountain villages into picture-perfect winter postcards. The snow came so quickly that even seasoned locals were caught off guard, and the landscape was suddenly hushed under a thick, sparkling blanket. Meanwhile, the UK and Ireland brace for their own beast from the east. Meteorologists issued blizzard warnings as sub-zero lows threatened even the lowlands, a rare and disruptive event for these islands. Rural communities prepared for power outages and travel chaos, while city dwellers rushed to stock up on essentials. Southern Europe isn't spared, northern Italy faces snow and ice alerts with cities like Milan waking up to streets coated in white and highways turning treacherous overnight. The Italian Alps, already famous for their winter beauty, are now under a relentless snowstorm, challenging even the most experienced drivers and skiers. In the Balkans, the higher terrain is seeing heavy snowfall, with mountain villages in Serbia and Bosnia blanketed in deep drifts. Pine forests are weighed down by the accumulating snow, and rural communities are bracing for days of isolation as roads become impassable. The cold is relentless, blanketing the Apennines and shocking cities like Milan and Turin, where residents are more accustomed to rain than to snowstorms of this magnitude. The sudden transformation has left many in awe and scrambling to adapt. Even Romania and Ukraine are seeing up to 50 centimeters of snow, with rural areas nearly cut off and city dwellers working tirelessly to clear streets and keep daily life moving. The sheer volume of snow is testing infrastructure and patients alike. It's a continent-wide event, forcing everyone to adapt fast. From bustling capitals to remote villages, people are coming together to face the cold, clear the snow, and keep their communities moving despite the challenges. Europe hasn't seen a November freeze like this in years. The scale and intensity of this Arctic outbreak will be remembered for a long time, as communities across the continent dig out, warm up, and wait for the first signs of relief. Europe's weather is now split in two. In the north, it's all about dry, biting cold and snow. Think icy roads, frozen pipes and bundled up commuters. The UK, Northern France, Germany and Poland are battling classic winter hazards, with transport networks under strain. Head south, and the story changes. As Arctic air meets warmer Mediterranean air, storms erupt. Spain, southern Italy, and the Balkans face torrential rain and flood risks, not just snow. This clash of air masses creates intense slow-moving storms, especially along the Mediterranean coast. While skiers in the Alps rejoice, communities in the south brace for flash floods and landslides. One continent, two winter stories, each with its own dangers. The polar vortex's disruption is a reminder. Geography shapes how we experience the same event. Across Europe, people are scrambling to adapt to the sudden freeze. Morning commutes are slow and treacherous, with gritters and snow plows struggling to keep up. Heating systems are working overtime, straining energy grids and household budgets. In rural areas, farmers protect livestock and communities check on vulnerable neighbors, yet there's resilience and even wonder as early snow transforms landscapes into winter wonderlands. Children revel in snowball fights and building snowmen, while ski resorts celebrate a booming early season. Emergency services are on high alert, avalanche risks in the Alps, storm surges in the south, and a spike in breakdowns across the UK. It's a test of infrastructure and preparedness, but also a reminder of winter's beauty. Life in the deep freeze is a mix of hazard and simple pleasures. Europe is bracing for a long, cold season. The big question, how long will this last? Meteorologists say the polar vortex disruption could persist or even intensify into December. Forecast models now predict a colder, snowier winter than we've seen in years, with blocking patterns pushing Arctic air south. Some models hinted a historic cold wave mid-December, possibly leading to widespread, lasting snow cover. Add in a developing La Nina in the Pacific, 
and the odds of a marathon winter increase, expect a season of contrasts, intense cold spells, brief thaws, then more cold. Northern Europe could see 20-30% more snow, the south faces wetter, stormier conditions. Bottom line, keep your winter gear handy, this cold snap may just be the beginning. This early cold snap is rippling through every part of society. Energy demand is soaring, putting pressure on power grids and driving up bills. Travel chaos is widespread. Airports cancel flights, trains face delays, and roads become hazardous or impassable. Urban areas scramble to grit roads and handle accidents, while rural communities risk isolation. Farmers battle frozen pipes and snowbound fields, and the vulnerable need extra support. Governments are activating winter contingency plans, but success depends on everyone pitching in. This arctic chill exposes our vulnerabilities and tests our resilience. A simple drop in temperature can change everything. Not all the news is bad. Skiers and mountain towns are celebrating. Resorts in the Alps, Pyrenees, and even Scotland have opened early thanks to deep natural powder. The economic boost is huge, with hotels and ski schools buzzing. Beyond the slopes, cities and countryside alike are transformed into snowy wonderlands. Photographers and families are out enjoying the beauty, from frost-covered trees to glowing streetlights on fresh snow. For many, it's a chance to rediscover the simple joys of winter sledging, snowmen, and silent walks. The shared experience brings communities together, even as we grumble about icy pavements and heating bills. Sometimes, winter's challenges come with unexpected magic. With a long, cold winter ahead, preparation is key. At home, block drafts, insulate your loft, and protect exposed pipes from freezing. Dress in layers, base, fleece, and waterproof outerwear, plus hat, gloves and boots with good grip. Keep a winter emergency kit in your car blanket, torch, power bank, shovel, and screen wash. Stock up on non-perishable food and water in case of snow ins or power cuts. Check on elderly or vulnerable neighbors, they're most at risk in the cold. Stay informed with official weather warnings and adjust plans as needed. This winter will be challenging, but with a few smart steps, we can stay safe and even enjoy the season's beauty. Face the cold with confidence, and don't forget to appreciate the wonder of a true winter, stay safe, and stay warm.